Hi guys, this is Reza from CatSpace and today I'm gonna go through the highlights of new features we've got for 2016 in the assembly. When you insert a new component in 2016, you've got the new option in here which you can choose between the configuration of that part. Previously, you had to insert the component into the assembly first, then you could change the configuration of that part. When using mate command in assembly, the first selections display is gonna change to transparent for, to make it more clear for the user to see through that assembly for the mating process to be much more user friendly and easier. As you can see here, when I'm using this mate command, I don't have I don't need to change the display state of the components all the time in order for the mates to go exactly where they're supposed to go. Another new feature we've got for 2016 is the component preview window. This component preview window gives the capability to the user to make this sub assembly as you can see here to transparent state and then you can change, rotate and use the faces of the sub assembly to make the mating process on the main window there. So as you can see you've got the preview as a transparent view here and you can see what's going on in the model and at the same time you've got the option to choose between the faces of the separate window to the main window and make the mating process as easy as this. This is going to save a lot of time for the users to do the mates in the complicated assembly mode. Another new feature in the assembly is when you want to open a part previously you had only this option to open this sub assembly as a whole part. So now you've got this drop down option which you can open either the whole sub assembly or the parts in the assembly. Let's take a look at the new features for the toolbox which we can use in the assembly. So in here, in 2016, we've got a favorite folder in our toolbox. So you can easily drag and drop the components from here and then drag them to your, to your favorite folder up there. As easy as this. And then you can use this favorite folder, folders component, to insert your toolbox component in your assembly as easy as that another good feature that we've got for the toolbox component in 2016 is now we can edit and make changes to this multiple toolbox component at the same time such as changing the length of this screw for instance also possible is to change the toolbox components and the fastener type of the multiple toolbox component at the same time I want to change it to socket head cap screw for instance and as you can see I can choose the size of the all of these components all together and then this is gonna ask me about the mates and how they would react there so first selection which is gonna give me the preview I'll select this face and for the second one I select this face and after that, if I click OK, SOLIDWORKS is going to ask me if it wants if I want to replace all other missing mates references for the other components which are similar to this one. And as easy as that, I can make changes to my toolbox components, multiple toolbox components at the same time. I hope this is useful for you guys and happy designing.